Okay, so we're in a new setup right now. I don't I don't know how I like this background. I feel like that looks kind of weird, so I'm going to I'm going to move that really quick right now. Hold up. All right, there we go. I feel like that looks a lot freaking better. I don't know. I kind of want to get like a backdrop, but I I don't even know where to start. Like, do you hang it from your ceiling? I I really don't know how it works. So, as you guys can read from the title of this video, this is going to be a how I do my makeup with eyelash extensions. I did put these on a few days ago. I really 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 like them. They make my makeup come out so like not come out, but they make my makeup routine so much faster for some reason maybe because sometimes I don't wear eyeshadow maybe because I don't do my wing eyeliner anymore but it's super easier now so if you guys want to get eyelash extensions or if you guys want to do your own eyelash extensions which I did I super super recommend it because dude doing your makeup a couple minutes faster than you would what does that make sense is a lot better and I rather sleep a little bit more I rather maybe pop on some eyebrows really quick and then just head out I don't know I really I'm really digging the eyelashes let me know if you guys dig them too I know a lot of you guys have questions about like my skincare routine and I really really want to recommend you guys something else because this little kit has been working so freaking well for me so my manager was like hey Jasmine I think you should try this Clinique 3 what is the name of this I think it's called the Clinique three set oh it's right here duh three step system so it looks like this this is so bomb I don't care take a screenshot of me right now save this on your phone and then go buy this from Ulta please this has been helping my skin so much so it comes with the little face soap so it says liquid facial soap and then it comes with a toner but it says clarifying lotion so I'm assuming that that's the same thing and then it comes with a little lotion because the toner does kind of dry out your skin just a tad bit but once you put this yellow one on dude then you're set but I really really recommend you guys to go buy this as soon as you see this video maybe the next day maybe by the time this video is over because this has been helping my skin so so much and I'm sorry that I'm lagging on on doing the makeup part let me just show you guys the sizes of this the whole kit is $19 and I think that's a pretty good price it's not too expensive it's Clinique Clinique is one of my favorite brands too these are the sizes like this is almost as big as my face and it's gonna last me a long time this toner I've been using this every single day look it's like barely used and then I want to buy this one for sure and this one for sure this is the little lotion it is a little bit tiny it's like half of my face totally recommend this kit I know you guys asked me so much about like my skincare routine and these have been the only things I have honestly been using for like about a week now and I just feel like my skin you know how there's like those little black head strips I think is what it's called I think they're like Biore black strips and you put them like on your nose one that shit fucking hurts so I don't like to do that and with this all of my little blackheads have been coming out and I'm just so like in shock because I'm like how does this stuff take out my blackheads but then the black pore strip thing that is supposed to take out the blackheads doesn't really do it. I'm so sorry for lagging, but all right, let's get into the makeup part. As always, I'm going to be going in with the hang... Oh, you guys can't really see it. The Hangover... I think it's called just the Hangover X. I, for some reason, want to call it the Hangover RX so bad. I ended up really liking it. It's not super good for oily skin, I believe, but it's a really, really nice primer, and it smells so super super good it smells like coconut and I really really like it because I kind of have like normal to dry skin combination white and I really really like it either way just because it leaves my face feeling really really hydrated as well and then sometimes since my skincare routine at nighttime, which is like the Clinique stuff that I do, it's actually so bomb that in the morning I just kind of pat off the excess oil with a toilet paper. And then right now, since this primer is super hydrating, I really don't need to moisturize again, which is what I like because I don't have to keep using my expensive products that I've bought. I feel like if you take care of your skin and you have like a bomb-ass skin routine, then you're set, your makeup is going to look top-notch, and I think 
think that everyone should take care of their skin and hashtag stay hydrated. So for my foundation, I, I kind of decided, I was like, you know what? I work at Ulta, let me go ahead and try one of their expensive foundations. So I gave in and I went over to the more like high end, good quality type of stuff. I still think that you can find really, really good quality stuff in like the drugstore stuff, like the non-expensive, what do you call it? The cheap stuff, you know? I decided to go with this one because I know that Urban Decay is cruelty free and I know that some of their things are vegan. A lot of you guys asked me, hey Jasmine, I thought you were vegan. Why are you still using cruelty? What is it called? Why? You guys asked me a lot, why am I still using products that are tested on animals? And I'm just like, well, it's like it's stuff that I have left over and I really don't want to toss it. But then when I do run out of things, like I try to buy things that are animal cruelty free. It's like super watery as well. And I don't recommend this to people who have have like oily skin because I feel like this is more of a like people that have like dry to like normal skin can use this one and it'll be fine but if you have oily skin I feel like if you wear this then your face will be like super extra oily and most people don't want it they did come out with their new I think it's called the all-nighter foundation I'm pretty sure that's what it's called and that one is really good I've color matched people and oh my god it looks so pretty it's super super full coverage versus this one I feel like it's kind of like a light to medium coverage and it's super buildable too so if you do have like no problems with your skin that you really want to cover up I feel like this one would be good like it's super watery I have to be really careful when I'm putting it on my finger I don't know if you guys can see that but it's already dripping so I just kind of get a little bit and I just put it all over my face and I'm gonna go ahead and blend this all out with my real tech Neeks little sponge. I cleaned it before I started filming because I was like, I'm not trying to let them see me use a dirty ass sponge. Also, I think my mom's here and I feel like she can literally hear everything I'm saying right now. Lightweight, it's okay because she knows that I do YouTube. So it's kind of like, she's probably thinking, ah, she's just doing her thing. She's just doing YouTube videos right now. I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer in the shade Medium. I genuinely am so curious if they are cruelty free. If not, you guys should let me know what if you guys use cruelty free makeup like what concealer would be good to use I kind of want to try out the Urban Decay concealer just because a lot of people say that it's super bomb sometimes I don't like to go ham with it just because I'm like honestly I just look a little bit crazy when I put too much and this concealer is also really 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 lightweight which I really like it kind of reminds me of the Maybelline fit me concealer except this one just costs like 20 bucks and then the Maybelline one costs like six dollars so I'm just gonna let this set really really freaking quick I don't leave it on for too long I use the derma blend loose setting powder I got a little like travel size sample size from Ulta just because I was buying some of their stuff I usually like to try things for a little bit maybe like a week or so and then see if I really like it and then I'll recommend it but so far so good for this little guy so again I am using a little sample size I got the Too Faced chocolate Soleil bronzer in in the shade medium deep I'm gonna leave everything I talk about down below in the bottom description box whatever it's called perfect and then just kind of blend it out damn I feel like that shit looks hella intense on camera it looks nice in person I can see myself right there damn I look crazy now I'm gonna go in with max global glow I've had this for so long and I finally hit pan but it's lasted me so long I remember when I first got got it I was so hesitant on buying it because I was like damn 30 bucks for a highlighter it like blends really really nicely into my skin tone which I like and I actually do go pretty ham with the highlighter just because I prefer to look dewy over matte I'm gonna be setting my face with the Urban Decay all nighter setting spray I've had this one for a while too I really like it I think this is like my third bottle that I've bought in now I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows off camera I will link the last video that I did of a makeup video because I did do my updated eyebrow routine on there so I'll probably put like a card right here right now alright so eyebrows are done I literally was doing my eyebrows and then my package came here let me try to not show you guys my address but ah, 
I got my shoes, so I'm going to do a live unboxing right now, right here. I'm so excited. The first time that I ordered these, I actually ordered one, the wrong size, and then two, I ordered like the wrong style. So here, I'll just show you guys right now. So this is my receipt, and these costed $100. 25 bucks hashtag worth this is the packaging i don't know how to say it calm de garcon i really don't know how to say it so i usually just say cdg and collab with the converse oh shit! i'm pretty sure i got the right size it looks a little bit big but i'm pretty sure i got the right size these are my other white shoes these are already ripping and i wear them pretty much every single day to the gym so that's why i decided to buy these just because i've been wanting them i think they're super cool i i don't know i just i really like them and they're white and they're high top and these are my faves i don't know i already went ahead and primed my eyelids with the urban decay primer potion to prime my eyes really quick and i think i'm just gonna be using the mani palette dude if this is still in stock and you guys can possibly get it somehow I really recommend it I feel like I keep recommending a lot of things to you guys look I've already hit pan this one's one of my favorites this one is beaches and cream yeah this one is beaches and cream which I really like this one frappy I I don't really know how to say it either this one is bomb as fuck and then this one is really nice too if I want to add some depth but like all of these are just like ah oh, this is just like my cup of tea and I love it so much if you guys can get your hands on this I would really really recommend that you do I literally do like the most basic looks ever so that's why I like to do chit chat get readies with me just be whoa that was really hard to say but I like to do chit chat get ready with me just because it feels like it's more real and I feel like you guys kind of well I know that you guys like these chit chat get readies with me it's just because you guys tell me a lot but I don't know I feel like they're more real than just tutorials no hate but I'm just not good at those so I just I just do these and I am going in with beaches and cream just as my transition color so it's gonna be pretty simple no eyeliner just I'm gonna keep it matte and pretty warm as well I'm gonna go in with this one so that one is Sora I'm pretty sure yes it is and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of frappy as well I've been buying a lot of things online because for some reason I I just can't sleep it's really hard lately so if you guys like ever can't sleep at night and you guys are like hey let me just take a peek at some wigs and look at the colors I don't know it's just nice to look at things kind of like window shopping online I do that a lot and then sometimes I do end up buying things and I'm just like fuck but then at the end it's like worth it because it's like that money is gonna go you know like might as well spend it on stuff that you like because money comes and goes you can work a little bit more for it but pretty simple I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and literally this is just the simplest most basic look ever and I'm sorry if you're disappointed so these are all makeup geek shadows I'll go ahead and put these in the description box as well and then for a darker a darker shadow that I'm gonna be using right now I bought on its own before I bought this one and I'll go ahead and show you it's so freaking pretty also I'm really curious on what you guys think about my eyebrows I for some reason got a lot no not a lot I got a little bit of hate which doesn't really bother me honestly I just laugh about it it's really funny when someone's like oh your eyebrows look weird oh you're annoying like I literally just laugh it off like it doesn't bug me but I'm just wondering like when I had my straight eyebrows for some reason like some people like I don't get a lot of hate which I'm really 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 grateful for I really really appreciate you guys for always being nice to me but for some reason when I had my straight eyebrows people would be like oh why do you do your eyebrows straight and now the fact that I'm actually trying just because I want to because I was like hey let me change up my eyebrows long story short I saw some girl at my job I work with her and one day she did her eyebrows so freaking bomb and I was like what the heck so she had them really really wispy they don't look like this I kind of tried but they were arched and they were really really wispy and like you can tell she like drew on on the strokes but they just look so bomb her makeup always looks hecka good but anyways I'm just really curious on like do you guys like my eyebrows because honestly I like my eyebrows but all that matters is that I like my eyebrows I'm just really curious on like like what do you guys think do you guys
guys think like they look weird most people think they're fine well on Twitter you guys were like dude like you're good this is a little Mac palette that I did I bought this online too at night when I couldn't sleep and I kind of just added my own colors but it kind of looks like Manny's palette a lot of nudes a lot of like warm tones but we're gonna go in with this one this one is Coco Bear from Makeup Geek it's so pretty and I'm gonna go ahead and put that one on my lid as well as on the bottom of my eyelashes perfect then I'm just gonna go in with my finger and pat it on the lid just so it can look a little bit darker right here on the lid and I've honestly really been digging these individual lashes just because I don't have to do my eyeliner and that's what I kind of like because sometimes eyeliner can get a little bit tough just be careful if you guys do decide to do like the individual eyelashes by yourself but usually it would take me like about two hours to do my makeup and then I feel like with this it probably takes me like 45 minutes to an hour which is so 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 good these are one of my favorite eyeshadows also MAC but MAC is a little bit more expensive now we're looking pretty pretty smoky I don't know I really really like this look it's super super simple I did add a little bit of the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara what is it called when like everything is like the same color but it's like monotone because like this kind of looks Looks like the color of like this hair to finish it off I'm gonna be using look how small this is I'm gonna be using max lip liner in strip down this is tiny I remember I used to wear this all the time I just use lip liners as lipsticks because I feel like they kind of last a little bit longer and the wear of it oh yeah that's the same shit and the wear of it is longer also like they kind of like dry on your lips so they don't transfer as easily as a lipstick would so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this all over my my lips all right so this makeup look is complete I know this was really really basic and really easy to do but that's kind of the point this is what I would recommend if you are gonna be getting eyelash ex extensions just because when you take off your makeup I know you have to be like a little careful or something so taking off eyeshadow isn't as hard I feel in my opinion as it would if I like had to do like my eyeliner but I really like the outlook of the outlook the outcome of this look I feel like it looks really really like basic simple pretty just like all like one color kind of like edgy also I feel like you guys are gonna ask me where my shirt is from I actually thrifted this I found this at one of like the little thrift shops by where I live that's kind of where I get my clothes as well like I said I'm gonna leave everything down in the description box anyways I really really hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will be seeing you guys in my next video and oh my god thank you so much for I think 75 almost 75 I'm just gonna say almost 75,000 subscribers that's insane that's crazy I appreciate all of the nice comments and all of your guys's love and yeah I'll be seeing you guys in my next video and I appreciate you guys so 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 much bye